welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn them notifications on. Back, back at last. It's been a few months since I last posted up on the channel, but we're back now. It is the new year, so, well, we haven't seen each other since last year, so happy new year to everybody watching. Hope you all had a great Christmas and new year and whatever. I know I certainly did, especially New Year's Eve. Uh, if any of you follow me on Instagram, yeah, you can see we, we had a pretty good time. So today, what have we got going on? Well, general winter jobs, really. The same old stuff you get across any kind of farm. But currently, we've got a little bit of project taking place. We are in the process of doing another concrete yard renewal. So stone yard into concrete. But just a little bit of an insight inside a new building. And I don't think this has been seen on the channel. So this here, where I am now, is a building we've added onto the side of our dairy. So basically last year, there used to be a bit of a cover over these motors. That cover got very worn out. It was leaking the roof and whatever, it's falling down. So we kind of decided we'd put a bit of a building up here instead of just covering the motors again. So we've got a storage place for our dairy chemicals, wipes for the cows and other things like that really. You'll see milk and apron there and also Got a nice tea stand in here as well. So when you get halfway through milking and a cow, you know, starting to get on your nerves, take five, make yourself a brew. Perfect stuff. You've got the pressure washer in here, undercover as well. Used to have trouble with that freezing up in the winter because obviously it was outside. Milk meters, yeah, nice little building. Also a place to put our uh, cow feed and stuff because obviously it's a totally separate building to the dairy. You're not allowed to have any stuff like that in the dairy. So we built this on the side and we could put it in here now just uh, come outside and there is the building it's just a few courses of block on the bottom and then a stud work frame made out of wood here and then corrugated tin sheets on the side and on the roof the reason we didn't go straight to the floor with the wood is you'll see the floor's wet and water and, wo and wood they don't mix so that would get rotten over time whereas this way Blocks aren't going to rot. Wood isn't going to rot on top of the blocks. So, yeah, that's what we've got here. I have just finished feeding the cows. So we're just uh, nip through now. Loose the cows out. It's about, it's about 11 o'clock, so they've been in for a couple of hours shutting the cubicles. Um, last video, actually, was us putting the sand beds in for the cows. Great gate there, look. Yeah, the last video we saw on the channel was us putting the sand bed in for the cows. And uh, two, three months now from doing that. And what a difference they've made. Little bit of maintenance with them, obviously. There was always going to be. A little bit more than what we actually did think to start with. Hang on, let's just put that on there. If it'll stay. Yeah, a little bit more maintenance with them than what we first thought. So we kind of thought we'd only have to top the sand up couple of times in a year but we actually end up just popping it up once every two to three weeks which isn't too bad we use about four ton at a time um, so really speaking it's not using too much sand obviously we don't know how the slurry systems taking the sand as in sediment sitting on the bottom of the hole and up in the tower but the the slurry is so much easier to handle now than it ever was before when the straw was in there. It was a massive pain. Whereas now, it's a lot better. What we've also ended up with is less slurry. So I can't, I'm, can't, can't, don't think I covered this in the actual video of doing these cubicles, but when we used to have straw in the cubicles, we'd be emptying the slurry hole and this, this is not any exaggeration here, two to three times a week. Whereas now, that hole will last seven days. So we've, <laughs> yeah, we've cut the, uh, yeah, we've cut the slurry um, right back, which, which I suppose in one way isn't the best of things because you haven't got as much slurry to spread. But for us now, the storage is, was becoming a bit of an issue, but the way things are now, we've actually, uh, well, we've doubled our storage, haven't we, basically, because it'll last twice as long. So, yeah, that's always good. So all in all, the sand has been a success. Just looking here now, they're ready to come out. They get a lot more cows lying down inside than we did do. And they're spending more time 
lying down now, which has obviously helped for some foot troubles. You see it, quite a few ulcers and things, and uh, well, they're, you know, down to the fact that they were standing up for too long, but yeah, just silage down here. Guys are coming out now to have a graze. So they'll be uh, on here now until milking time. We've got a few cows starting to calve at the minute. Got a few dry ones. Milk production here down a little bit. Milk price up a little bit. Slightly annoying, but it's just the way that it falls. Your cows are going to have the dry period. They calve when they calve. So yeah, oh, I just need to come around here as well and loose our big friend out. There he is. Here he comes. So he gets shut in at night. We shut him up there in his in his ball pen. Just gives him somewhere comfy to lie. Uh, he does lie in a cubicle, to be fair, but it just gives him a rest from the cows. And I'm not a fan of having the bull in with the cows, especially on the yard at night. If you've got a cow bull in, I know he should be there serving her, but the last thing I want to do is come out in the morning to a cow down that he's been riding the hell out of overnight, so yeah. Anyway, enough of the catching up. We're gonna have a look what's going on over the other side of the farm. So here is the site for the new concrete yard. So the concrete is coming to the end of this concrete and we're done here, which is outside of these sheds on the main yard. And it's coming across here. You'll see we've got a mark in this corner to there and then it's following the white markings all the way down so this here is going to be all concrete right back to that shed and that's coming all the way along just get to here to in line with this post so it's coming all outside of here so this is our grain shed and the idea is to keep this yard clean, keep the dirty and clean water separate. So this yard will run, well, the water on this yard will run towards me here. And where that cone is, is going to be a drain with a gully, which is going to run into a ditch down at the bottom of the lane. So Mark is on the digger today. I'll dig me over here. And uh, what we're doing over here is just sort of widening the lane. So where he is up on top of now, there used to be an old wood pile and stuff. Why we've got a fire going there, we're just burning all the wood from there. But what we're gonna do is open this out here and stone that area. So we've got a bit more room for lorries at the top of the lane. And then this here is gonna be obviously concrete to here. And then kind of a couple of meters in, we're gonna have from here coming this way, a grass section, which we mow with a lawnmower just to keep it nice and clean. But the the top of the lane here has been a bit of a mess for a few years now, so it'll be nice to get this area cleaned up and sorted out. And obviously a new concrete yard's gonna make life a hell of a lot easier with loading and unloading grain and all sorts of stuff like that. So that is the current situation. Going on a little bit further now, so what we've done is just pulled the mud and rubbish off the top of this bit of yard here. And then just over here, Digby's still digging away on the digger there. Dad's just got the level out. We're just taking out now all the excess soil there so that we can sort of stone that up and put it in. I don't know what he's, what he's doing. Dogs overseeing things here. And your legs, eh? Site foreman. Site foreman here today, isn't you? Hey, He's a site foreman. Yeah overseeing the job I'm just sort of taking a few rails down and things and burning them um, just pull the trailer load of grain out of the shed here because obviously we're not going to be able to get in there before long I'll put that up into the bin at some point but yeah that's not going to be today it was going to be but it's just time just seems to have sort of ticked on a little bit
sounds like the beep says it's okay. Crack on. Further along in the day now, it's about four o'clock or just gone, not far off milking time now. And we're just scraping away now this ramp from in front of the shed there. To my right here, you'll see that we've leveled this off now so that the whole yard is relatively level to that white line. So just from that white line that way, the concrete's gonna slope that way and into a gully. From here, we're gonna have a slight ramp going on to that concrete there the problem we've got if we drop it to that level it's going to be too low for the top of the lane that gateway and the door for there as well so that's uh, how we're looking towards the end of play today i've just been behind where mark's digging now we're going to be taking the pipe work for the drain well just behind there there's two trees i've just uh, been sort of taking the trees out slowly um there was two there there's only one left now and I've just started on the one on the right, but I'm not gonna take that out fully today because it's, well, it's starting to get a bit dark. Um, hopefully the fire will keep going until tomorrow and we can burn the rest of the brash off of that tree uh, on there. So yeah, it's looking good. And there we are, there is us just about finished for the day. I've just got the wash going through the parlor at the moment. Um, we do a hot wash morning and night just to try and keep the bacteria or the bacteria scan as low as we can. And that currently at the minute is sitting around 20, so not a problem. We had a little bit of a problem with it just before Christmas, but all that was was the vacuum line just above my head. Uh, that hadn't been swilled through with some water for a little bit too long and that was just a little bit dirty. Just washed that through for a week and the back scan was right back down again and since then we routinely now just wash it through going off on a little bit of a tangent there but there you go i'm doing things a little bit differently in this video usually i sort of follow a job from start to finish and make a video of it but i'm gonna just make a video today of what i've done today with the yard and other jobs a little bit of a catch up at the start so mainly just talking uh, probably do some more filming tomorrow try and get quite a few videos out now and just yeah just, just have a bit more fun with it rather than trying to create a really long production and spend a lot of time editing and trying to get all these clips i'm just going to sort of strip it back a little bit and just get try and get a few more videos out so that does bring us to the end of today's video more to come tomorrow hopefully you've all enjoyed it it's good to be back oh, well yeah I, I for me it's good to be back you might all be thinking oh god Here's this dickhead again. If you are, well, tough shit. 
so yeah i'd like to thank you all for watching don't forget to like subscribe drop us a comment down below uh head over to my instagram case.farms i'll try and post on there a little bit more probably said that several times at the end of a video and i never do we'll see you all in the next one